Hi, I'm Janelle, but you can just call me Jelly. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this sign with my wedding song lyric on it. Okay, so we're gonna make a sign with our wedding lyric on it. I have this board from Hobby Lobby that I'm gonna make my square in. So I measured my piece of wood. So I'm gonna add a shape to the canvas and then I'm gonna unlock it here and it was 22.25 and then 14.25 for that so enter so this is the shape of this wood from Hobby Lobby that I measured um, I measured it from without this border part so then what I'm gonna do is lock this so the size doesn't change and then we're gonna go to guide so that this becomes just a guide it's not gonna cut this and it can be a bottom layer so I know like how big to make the fonts and whatnot on there. So we're gonna add a text box with the first line of the song. Is it okay if I call you mine? Um, the alignment I want is the left, so I'm just gonna click that there. I'm gonna add another text box because I'm gonna do two different font pairings. So I'm gonna type in then here, the other line of the song, as if I could ever stop. Then I'm gonna add another text box that is the wedding date, 24. Wonderful. Okay, so then we're gonna pick out our fonts that we want here. Um, so I'm gonna do a couple font pairings. So I just downloaded some fonts from defont.com and we can put previous jelly insert here of how to do that should I want to. Hi, so we're on defont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T, and I'm gonna show you how to download font um, looking for a font to make a sign so I'm looking for a font for my sign I just went under here script and typed in calligraphy and this one I like best moment so I'm gonna go to download it says it's free for personal use so if I wanted to make this and sell it to somebody I shouldn't do that so I'm gonna down but if it's for my own thing that's totally okay so I like that one and I kind of like this one as well. Free for personal use. Let's see what else we have here just real quick. I think this will be too thin. This one's kind of nice. I might grab this one too while I'm doing a couple fonts here. Um, and then I'm gonna go up to my downloads, this. So right here, open font file and install. And that's about it. Okay, so now that I have those installed, I have this open, so I'm gonna wanna close design space out. So those fonts that you just installed won't show up in design space unless if you close out and then reopen it. Okay, I recorded myself downloading the font. Great, anyway, <laughs> deja vu. Okay, so I used a font. I went to Cricut and I did, I think it was called Birthday something this one birthday cupcake um, and it's the a so I'm subscribed to the Cricut um, monthly thing that gives you all the access to the Cricut design space stuff so that's what that font is from so so far I kind of like this font at the top and then we're gonna pair it with a script font which I downloaded three or four of them if I go to recent are they gonna be here okay and I liked there's this one I think I liked the one that was called smile so there's this one for the second one so this would be paired with this so this I would make it bigger eventually because this is our guide where's my guide stop and go here the date is gonna go in the corner so this is gonna kind of go like this and this is gonna kind of be like bigger so we'll see what kind of font we compare it with I don't know if I like that right now okay so now that I played with this font for quite some time um, what we ended up doing was we used the this birthday cupcake font and I did is it okay 
so since it's quite the skinny kind of looking font I actually did an offset on it so I went up here offset and I just did a very small one 0 0.02 and weld off if we apply it and then if I hide this one you see the bolder font so that's the skinny one and then that's the bigger one that we got so that's how I made this a little bit thicker um, as far as this one, this is the font, this font, and we played with the, the warp a little bit. We ended up doing this. So this is the design we made last week, and I tried to go to make it, and I didn't have the long enough mat. So we're leaving it as is. I love this. Um, we're going to go to make it. And, okay, so we are going to do premium vinyl. And we're gonna do more pressure because I always do more pressure. Because as soon as I go to make a project, I realize that I've been wanting to change my blade for about six months now, so. All right, um, so we're gonna do that. And then the button on the machine. Press this and away it goes. Hi, it's VoiceOver Jelly here. So when I made this on stream, I struggled a lot. I've never done this technique where I cut out the whole design and put a transfer piece of tape over the entire top of it plus i was using cricut removable vinyl which was not the easiest to work with so i kind of lost some of the letters and it it wasn't very user friendly to transfer and and weed and stick to the wood so after i got what i could down um i i'm gonna show you the rest of the sign and doing like the rest of the little pieces on it which is probably what i'll do in the future I do not recommend Cricut removable vinyl. It's just not easy to work with for a project this size, but I was trying to use materials that I already had. So let's fix it, shall we? We're gonna go to my projects and open the wedding song sign project and then go to customize. So now that I have my project open, I'm gonna use this contour tool down here and to take away the text that I don't want to cut out. I only need the mine and the question mark. So I'm going to do hide all contours and just kind of click on the letters of the mine that like I actually need. And when you do hide all contours, usually it leaves you with one letter. So it left that K. So I'm just going to have to make sure I click off of that K because I don't want it to cut that out. So then it looks like this. I had the mine and the question mark. So for this next part where it says as if I could ever stop, the ever stop didn't go on the sign so I could not figure out how to get the contour button to show up for this so I used a different technique and this is a technique that I used to use before I used the contour tool I'm gonna add just a square and unlock the square and put it over everything that I don't want and a couple versions ago of the Cricut design space it would say slice but now it's the combine and subtract and this is actually nicer so instead of slicing it it just took away the shape and what I put it over because I only wanted that ever and stop so now I'm left with that. This is nice because the slice function that they used to have used to get the square and the negative space of the as if I could and you would have to delete both but now it just deletes everything all as one step so then here what I'm doing is I duplicated the mine with the question mark and uncontoured uncontoured uh, deselect deselected unselect <laughs> oh gosh the um the mine from one and the question mark for the other so they would just be two separate things so when they were on the mat I could move them around otherwise they would cut it out with the mine with the question mark just how it showed and that would waste vinyl and then I added another small offset to the date here I just did the 0 0.02 Again, I was using the removable Cricut vinyl, which is really hard to work with. I wanted to use up stuff that I already had. So what I did was I did added that 0 0.02 offset to it and just deleted out the original and used the offset for it to cut out. So it would just be a little bit thicker. And I did it twice, actually. So now we can go up to make it. And all that work that I just showed you, it'll be just the few things that I need to cut out. Again, this ever stop, the mine, the question mark, the date. It didn't transfer, so this was just me kind of editing the design out so that I could cut out these few things from the 
project without cutting out the whole project again. And now I'm gonna send it to my machine. I selected premium vial and more pressure because I always forget to change my blade. Maybe I'll do it today, who knows. And now sped up three times fast is my machine cutting out these missing parts to my project. I hope this gave you an idea and explained a few things on how if you run into this issue, just like the contouring of it and you know, like the slicing, how to get like certain things of your project if you need to only cut a few of it off. I don't know, I really like to live stream this and then this is a video uh, later on showing the rest of this process. I like to live stream, you know, just like my Cricut Design Space process because I've always found it kind of hard to just find someone editing and design space and kind of just getting a feel of how people use it. So thank you so much for watching another crafting video. Usually I live stream. So actually the beginning of the video was a piece of a live stream, which I do and I call it Make It Monday. Every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is what I've been doing. It seems to have been working out very well so far. And I have several ideas still for more wedding related crafts. And I hope this inspires you today to get your Cricut machine out and finish off that last project that you've been meaning to do. I am so excited for all things wedding. It just gets more and more exciting the more fun things like this that I do. So if you want to craft with me live, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm going live. I also stream on Twitch. This channel used to be a gaming channel. I used to play Animal Crossing. I still do. I love video games still, but I stream over on Twitch, just jelly underscore. And I also am making a lot of bridal TikTok wedding talk content, as well as I will post on my Instagram stories a lot just to keep kind of everybody in my community updated. So make sure you go follow me on all of my socials. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you like and subscribe here on YouTube. It really helps out this channel a lot and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.